What does the breast tissue look like during different stages of life? The first stage is the developing breast that occurs between ages 8 and 12 on average. As hormones surge during puberty, a breast bud forms. This is the first noticeable development of the breast tissue. The ultrasound appearance is hypoechoic tissue and it has hazy borders and all that tissue connects up to the nipple. And this has a, an appearance very similar to gynecomastia in the male patient. In the next stage of development during late adolescence and young adulthood, the tissue has an appearance that they call the honeycomb appearance. And they call it this because the white glandular tissue against all the little black lines that form the milk ducts make it look like a honeycomb. The tissue pattern during this stage of life tends to be very dense. And because that dense tissue is white on an ultrasound, it's very easy to see the anechoic milk ducts against it. This high level of density seen in this age group is why we wait till later in age to do mammograms. The next life stage that we'll discuss is pregnancy and breastfeeding. During pregnancy and breastfeeding, the breast tissue becomes very dense. The most characteristic feature during pregnancy and breastfeeding is the loss of distinct tissue layers. And although this tissue appears grayish in color, it's actually all a thick layer of glandular tissue. As breastfeeding occurs, you start to see anechoic tubular structures, which are the milk ducts within the tissue. You can no longer define glandular tissue versus fat. We've now reached adulthood before menopause. It's important to remember that tissue appearance varies from slice to slice and quadrant to quadrant in the breast. In adulthood, there's a large variation of breast density. Breast density levels are categorized into four distinct categories. In density level one, the tissue is primarily fatty tissue with scattered islands of dense tissue. And this means that there's less than 25% glandular tissue in the breast. The next category, density level two, we start to see a more distinct areas of dense glandular tissue within the fat. The breast is still primarily fatty tissue with 25 to 50% of it being glandular tissue. In density level three, the breast starts to become more glandular tissue than fat with 50 to 75% of the tissue makeup being glandular tissue. The glandular tissue becomes more prominent and you see less areas of fatty tissue in density level three. In density level four, our extremely dense category, the breast is made up of primarily glandular tissue with little fat. In this category, there's greater than 75% glandular tissue. Breast density varies a lot from person to person and is primarily determined by heredity but there's many factors that determine overall breast density, including weight, use of hormones, and many other factors. In our last category, after menopause, the glandular tissue atrophies and is replaced by fat. The overall pattern becomes fatty with less areas of glandular tissue. Though this occurs in the majority of people, not everyone will have fattier tissue after menopause. Some people still have very dense tissue. Women on hormone replacement therapy will also have a denser breast pattern after menopause.